the electric excavator that's destroying diesel and nobody's prepared. Imagine standing on a bustling urban construction site in the heart of London, surrounded by towering cranes and half-finished high-rises, and suddenly you realize something is profoundly different. The air isn't thick with diesel fumes. Your ears aren't ringing from the relentless roar of combustion engines. Instead, there's an almost eerie silence, broken only by the subtle hum of electric motors and the scrape of steel buckets against earth. You're witnessing a machine that looks like any other excavator, painted in familiar industrial yellow, hydraulic arms swinging with mechanical precision. But this beast runs on pure electricity, drawing power from massive lithium-ion battery packs tucked beneath its chassis. No fuel tank, no exhaust pipe, no diesel whatsoever. And it's not some experimental prototype gathering dust in a research lab. It's here, right now, tearing through compacted soil Oil with instant torque that diesel engines can only dream of, working job after job without a single drop of fossil fuel. This is the electric excavator, and it's not just changing construction, it's obliterating the rules we thought were written in stone. The question isn't whether diesel will fall, the question is whether the industry is ready for what comes next. Because ready or not, that future is already digging its way into the present, and what you're about to discover will fundamentally change how you think about heavy machinery forever. For over a century, diesel has been the undisputed king of construction power. When you needed raw force to move mountains of earth, to break through bedrock, to lift tons of material into the sky, you turned to diesel compression ignition engines. But here's what nobody talks about. That supremacy came at a devastating cost. Diesel excavators pump out staggering levels of nitrogen oxides and particulate matter, contributing massively to urban air pollution and respiratory diseases. They're deafeningly loud, often exceeding 90 decibels, making urban work a nightmare for nearby residents and a hearing hazard for operators. Operating costs are tied to volatile fuel markets, where a single spike in oil prices can demolish project budgets overnight. And now, with emission regulations tightening like a vice around the construction industry, think Stage 5 standards in Europe, Tier 5 in the United States, and Net Zero mandates looming for 2030, Diesel's reign is facing an existential threat it cannot escape. Let's talk about the technology that makes electric excavators possible, because this isn't just swapping an engine for a battery and calling it a day. Modern electric excavators, like the case construction construction equipment CX2 ZQ, achieve breakthrough performance through advanced lithium-ion battery packs, often exceeding 300 kilowatt hours of capacity. Constructed from thousands of individual cells, managed by sophisticated battery management systems that monitor voltage, temperature, and state of charge in real time. These batteries are mounted low in the chassis for optimal weight distribution, replacing the fuel tank while keeping the machine's center of gravity stable. But here's where it gets revolutionary. Electric motors deliver torque instantly, with no lag, no turbo spool up, no waiting for revs to climb. The moment an operator pushes the joystick, maximum force is available, giving electric excavators responsiveness the diesel simply cannot match. We're talking about machines that can execute delicate grading operations with millimeter precision one moment, then rip through hard-packed clay with explosive power the next, all while maintaining perfect control. Now let's address the elephant in the room, runtime. Critics love to claim electric excavators can't last a full shift, that you'll be stuck waiting hours for batteries to charge. This narrative is not just outdated, it's flat out wrong. Modern electric excavators are shattering these myths with modular battery systems that use multiple swappable modules, hot swapped during lunch breaks or shift changes. A site can maintain charged spare batteries on site, ensuring continuous operation across multiple shifts without ever 
never stopping for fuel runs. Fast charging technology is advancing at breakneck speed, with some systems capable of reaching 80% capacity in under 90 minutes using high-power DC chargers. And here's a game changer that diesel operators never consider, regenerative braking. When an electric excavator lowers a loaded bucket or swings to a stop, those electric motors reverse function, acting as generators that capture kinetic energy and pump it back into the batteries. This can extend runtime by 15 to 25 percent, effectively giving you free operating time from energy that would otherwise dissipate as heat. The real magic happens in the control systems, where artificial intelligence and advanced sensors are turning electric excavators into thinking machines. Electric excavators integrate seamlessly with light detection and ranging systems, commonly called LiDAR, that use laser pulses to create three-dimensional maps of the work environment with centimeter-level accuracy. These sensors constantly scan the surroundings, feeding real-time data to onboard computers running machine learning algorithms trained on millions of excavation scenarios. The result? Semi-autonomous operation that can automatically grade to precise specifications, following digital terrain models uploaded directly from engineering software. Operators become supervisors rather than manual controllers, guiding the machine's strategy while artificial intelligence handles the microscopic adjustments. You can't get that level of finesse from a diesel engine fighting through mechanical transmissions and hydraulic lag. Electric excavators respond in milliseconds, adjusting power delivery based on sensor feedback, learning operator preferences, and even predicting maintenance needs. Let's talk noise, because this is where electric excavators deliver an impact that transforms entire communities. Traditional diesel excavators generate 90 to 100 decibels at operator ear level, comparable to standing next to a chainsaw. That noise causes permanent hearing damage to workers, disturbs residents for blocks around urban sites, and restricts construction hours in noise-sensitive areas. Electric excavators operate at approximately 50 to 65 decibels roughly equivalent to normal conversation. This 50% noise reduction is revolutionary for urban construction, enabling work during extended hours without violating noise ordinances and protecting worker health. In dense European cities like Amsterdam or Stockholm, where construction noise regulations are increasingly strict, electric excavators aren't just preferred, they're becoming mandatory for projects in residential zones. Now let's get into the numbers that make accountants wake up at night with excitement. A typical 20-ton diesel excavator burning 18 liters per hour at $2 per liter costs $36 per hour just for fuel. Over a 2,000-hour work year, that's $72,000 in fuel alone. An electric excavator consuming 60 kilowatt hours per hour at 12 cents per kilowatt hour costs just $7.20 per hour to operate. Annual energy cost $14,400. That's a fuel savings of $57,600 per year per machine. But electric excavators also slash maintenance costs by eliminating hundreds of wear components. No oil changes, no fuel filters, no turbochargers, no complex exhaust after treatment system. Electric motors have one moving part compared to hundreds in diesel engines. Conservative industry estimates suggest total operating cost reductions of 25 to 30 percent over the machine's lifespan. For contractors operating on thin margins, these savings aren't incremental improvement. They're business transformation. Environmental regulations are tightening globally at an unprecedented pace driven by climate commitments and urban air quality crises. The European Union is mandating dramatic emission reductions across all sectors. California's Air Resources Board is implementing standards that will effectively ban new diesel equipment sales in the coming decade. Cities worldwide are establishing low emission zones where diesel equipment faces hefty fines or outright prohibition. Electric excavators offer zero tailpipe emissions, not reduced, not offset, but literally 
zero carbon monoxide, zero nitrogen oxides, zero particulate matter at the point of use. For projects pursuing sustainability certifications or for clients with aggressive environmental mandates, electric equipment isn't optional, it's required. Forward-thinking contractors are discovering that owning electric fleets opens doors to premium contracts with sustainability-focused clients, creating competitive moats that diesel-dependent competitors cannot cross. Let's dive into real-world case studies. Case Construction Equipment launched their CX220NZQ electric excavator targeting North America, and early deployment results are staggering. One major urban infrastructure project in Chicago involved excavation for new utility lines in a densely populated neighborhood where noise complaints had delayed previous diesel-based work for months. The contractor switched to Case Electric Excavators and immediately solved the noise problem, extending work hours by three hours per day without violations, compressing the project timeline by 20%. Energy costs dropped 42% compared to diesel, and the elimination of daily refueling saved approximately 30 minutes per machine per day. Worker satisfaction skyrocketed because operators weren't battling engine vibration and noise fatigue. The project finished ahead of schedule and under budget. In Europe, Volvo Construction Equipment's ECR25 electric compact excavator has become a phenomenon in Scandinavian markets. A Swedish municipal project to renovate historic city centers in Stockholm required excavation work within meters of centuries-old buildings where noise and emission regulations were so strict that diesel work was essentially impossible during most hours. Electric excavators enabled the project to proceed during extended daytime hours without disturbing residents. The machine's precise electric control proved invaluable when working near fragile historic structures. Beyond operational success, the municipality reported that public perception improved dramatically because residents associated the quiet electric equipment with modernity and environment environmental responsibility. JCB threw serious engineering weight behind electric excavators with their 19C1E model, conducting a 20-month field trial involving over two dozen machines accumulating over 12,000 operating hours. The results? Average energy costs were 69% lower than equivalent diesel model. Noise levels dropped by 57%. Operator feedback scored the electric model higher in every category, including comfort, precision, and ease of use. Maintenance costs over the trial period were 43% lower. These aren't projections. These are are real numbers from machines working in mud, in heat, in cold, doing the dirty, demanding work that construction requires. Battery technology is advancing at a pace that makes even two-year-old predictions obsolete. Current lithium-ion batteries offer energy densities around 250 watt-hours per kilogram, but next-generation solid-state batteries promise to double that within five years. Charging speeds are accelerating, with some experimental systems achieving full charges in under 30 minutes. Battery pack prices have fallen 89% since 2010, from over $1,000 per kilowatt hour to around $130 today, with projections suggesting they'll hit $80 by 2026. This cost collapse is eliminating the price premium that once made electric excavators expensive novelties, bringing them to price parity with diesel equivalents. Now, let's project forward. Industry analysts predict the global electric construction equipment market will explode from approximately $3 billion today to over $20 billion by 2030, representing compound annual growth exceeding 25%. By 2030, experts predict that electric excavators will dominate urban construction markets in developed nations, capturing over 60% market share in cities with strict environmental regulations. Autonomous operation will become standard because electric platforms provide the precise control autonomy requires, creating machines that can work 24 hours a day with minimal human supervision. Battery swapping infrastructure will emerge as industry standard service, with specialized companies operating charging depots where contractors exchange depleted battery packs for fully charged replacements, 
in minutes. Integration with renewable energy sources will accelerate, with construction sites deploying solar arrays to power excavator fleets directly, achieving true zero-emission operation. The cascade effects ripple through supply chains in ways we're only beginning to anticipate. Fuel delivery companies serving construction sites will need to pivot to mobile charging services or face obsolescence. Parts suppliers specializing in diesel components will see demand collapse. Equipment rental companies face massive strategic decisions about when to transition fleets. The entire ecosystem built around diesel construction equipment is being disrupted, creating winners and losers based on how quickly companies adapt to electric reality. We're witnessing the early stages of a transformation as profound as the mechanization of construction itself. Electric excavators that were experimental prototypes five years ago are production machines today. The acceleration is breathtaking, and it's not slowing. It's intensifying as in investment floods into electric equipment, as regulations tighten their grip on diesel, as contractors who adopted early reap competitive advantages that late movers cannot match. We're approaching an inflection point where electric becomes not just viable but preferred, where diesel transitions from default choice to legacy technology. That inflection point may be 2027, it may be 2030, but it's coming, and everyone in construction must prepare. So here we are, at the edge of a diesel-free future. Electric excavators are destroying diesel's century-long dominance through fundamental advantages that diesel cannot counter. Zero emissions, near silence, instant torque, simplified maintenance, lower operating costs, better integration with autonomous systems, and renewable energy. The advantages compound and multiply, creating an avalanche of reasons to choose electric. The excavators tearing up earth on job sites today represent a philosophical revolution in how we power the machines that build our world. And the question isn't whether diesel will fall, that's settled, but whether we're all prepared for the world electric excavators are creating. If this deep dive into electric excavators has sparked your curiosity, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and drop a comment telling me, do you think electric excavators will dominate by 2026? Your engagement drives this channel. And if you want to dive even deeper, check out our video on autonomous haul trucks or our investigation into 3D concrete printing. The revolution is happening across every corner of construction, and we're documenting it all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, where we explore the technologies that are building tomorrow today.